Oh, absolutely amazing. So we need to try and get across there. Alright guys, hey you ding dang doodling dudes and dudettes, nice to see ya, to see you nice. Back in the uh, great outdoors again, and we're on the canal, the Black Country Canal, the Warsaw Canal, and we're going to be stealth camping on a roundabout where the canal runs right through it, which should be quite interesting. There's a little cluster of bushes on the road top and then the canal goes underneath. I'll show you in a minute. We've got a, something different to cook again. We're going to be doing an all day breakfast. Oh, Boston. We'll just have a bit of a walk up the canal and we'll get there. I'll show you the site and then we'll think about getting onto the roundabout. So here we go, <clears throat> this is the uh, road side of the island, you can just about see the cars going across the top there, and uh, we're going to get into the gap in between, and I'll explain where we're going to be, it's the Hollyhead Road Bridge. So there's the other side, there's the other bridge, because it's a roundabout, obviously everything rotates around this central bit here. So there's the canal. Now we could have chosen somewhere in there. There's the cars. But ultimately, I think where we're gonna be somewhere up there because you've got this sheer face which will keep us well protected in and it looks like there's more trees up there whereas that is pretty exposed so this is the Darleston Road bridge it is normally quite busy it's going to be quiet now so I'll probably take you for a bit of a walk around the roundabout and I've noticed a dip in the trees which we will uh, get in through there see what we face with right. let's just get up here look and there she blows So we need to try and get across there. Okay. Here goes nothing. That's where we've just been down there. It is. Quite a busy roundabout. Now I'm just hoping for a break in the traffic, just enough to dip in. But you can guarantee when we get round there, all the traffic's going to pile up. So fingers crossed. Oh. 
out. Don't want to be hanging around here. There's a the canal, look. That's where we were. We just need to try and get in these woods. So, who goes nothing? Let's rock and roll. Cool. Here we go. Just think of Misty. Where is it? I'm past it. Here we go. This one. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, don't squeeze. Woo. Well, I'm telling you now, that went a lot better than what I anticipated. Normally, and I'll show you after, the traffic backs up. All there, but it was empty. Oh, wow. Stroke a look at the marine, which is good news. Nice one. Very pleased. Obviously, I'm going to get the bag off, get the chair out, have me 10 minutes, and then we'll have a look around and get the kit all set up. Whoa. What I've noticed here is that we haven't got a lot of room to play with. This is our most open area that we've got because there's loads of these little shoots all over the place and it's really quite thick everywhere. It's quite overgrown so this is going to be the best spot we've got. It does go flat there which is quite close to the road but then it just looks swoops down because it's quite steep there so uh, I think our best bet is probably going from that tree there to that one there ridge line across a hammock and then the top coming down like this to shield us from the road which is there keep us camouflaged in uh, I've got the tar, the hammock, um, I've got the camo net as well, just in case. So uh, that sounds like a plan. Let's get cracking. So let's get our pre-made ridge line up. We're going to try and remain as low profile as we can. Let's go.
next step top DD 3x3 lovely jubbly Next step, get it pegged out. What I'm going to do with this side, I think, that's the side that's pegged down under there. I think I'm going to go for maybe like a fold it in half shelter so that it doesn't come all the way down just comes to about sort of there so I can still move around Bungees, quick and easy. So that's the top up. Now let's get the hammock in there. Lovely jubbly. Well, this is the back side of the uh, tarp. Hammocks running in there. And obviously, we're by the road, so. And the traffic is actually building up now. There's a queue there. So, what I want to do really is just throw this camo net over there so it's got clips on it so what we'll do throw it over there just to take the eye off it for when people are pulling up to these logs because it is a Friday night it's still logged so just for extra measure we'll throw the camo net over the back end of the top
right then dudes. So oh, that's the setup. If it does rain, I haven't checked the forecast yet, but we will in a minute. If it does rain, we'll be nice and uh, snug as a bug in a rug, nice and toasty, nice and warm and dry. <laughs> so we'll get the bedding in now. And that's jobs a good one for setting up because we're losing light and it's going quite cloudy. So we'll get that done pretty sharpish. Oh, all blown up. So we've got the uh, Yellowstone air sleeping mat, the Mountain Warehouse sleeping bag, Amazon pillow, it's all in green, it's nice and low. Happy days. That's the added advantage of having the 3x3 three three tarp as opposed to a smaller one because it's a bit more versatile and uh, you know being able to fold this up so we can have a little bit of a chill zone under there makes sense to me and that was nice and quick nice and easy easy peasy Japanesey I've moved the chair down here. There's our food. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm a bit closer to the water, a bit lighter. So this is relaxed time now. Get ourselves some food and go from there. Absolutely lovely. Nice little spot. So we're going to get some food on. All day breakfast. <laughs> Let's get it on the go. Right then. So in the tub today. We've got some salt for after. And some barbecue sauce. Oh. We've got some bacon. No breakfast or all day breakfast is complete without a bit of bacon. We have some sausages, of course. One egg. We have a couple of button mushrooms there. Lovely jubbly. We have some lard for the cooking of. Nice. And we also have in here, which was given to me for well, you guessed it, Dave again. Thanks, Dave. Some bury black pudding. Not black country, unfortunately, today, but it's still black pudding. And we're right by the canal, so lovely jubbly. So let's get all this prepped. Get it in our pot. Get it on there. And uh, fill our tummies. Got a couple of slices of the black pudding on the go. I need two or three. It's only a small pan. Put 
proper job. I'll put that in there now. Put ourselves a bit of lard in. We're going to cut the sausages up first, obviously. Probably just go for one. Let's get those in. Oh, that's lovely jubbly. Some bacon. Put that in after, I think. Sausages first, and black pudding, and the bacon last, with the mushrooms. Let's get this on. Chop these shrooms up. These are ready to rock now. I do like mushrooms. Right, time to get this mushroom and bacon in now. And we'll just let that simmer for a bit with the lid on, and that will be lovely jubbly. Oh, smells lovely. Boston. So that's simmering away nicely on a low heat with the lid on. While that's cooking, it gives me a chance to uh, talk a bit about where we are. So I'll show you. Now, it said that Birmingham has 35 miles of canals, which is said to be more than Venice. They're enjoyed by walkers, cyclists and narrowboat owners. I've heard that one many times over the years. Um, and I've looked into this bridge as well and it says that this bridge or the Moxley Junction the roundabout going over the canal is a modified roundabout junction located to the southeast of Wolverhampton Bilston it was constructed wait for it I thought it was earlier than this in the early 1990s so it's a late one along with the Black Country Spine Road or the Black Country Route which we've camped on before and we'll camp on again along the A41 corridor between Wolverhampton and West Bromwich 
So there's a bit of history for you. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's the roundabout there. There's the small one there, which is over the way. And we are in that big one there. And the weather is saying that at about nine o'clock we're going to see some rain leading into morning which should be foggy and four degrees the lowest we're going to get tonight is it's going to be quite warm five four six degrees so that's good news so there's our history, our weather report. See how the food's getting on, shall we? That's actually cooking away quite nicely. Right, I've put the other bit of lard in. That is more or less cooked now. Smells delicious. So it's time to crack the egg. Which I, I'm not going to lie, I've never been very good at. That was a good one. I'll take that. We'll give that a couple of minutes. Darkness has fallen and this looks oh absolutely amazing. Nice low heat, very nice. Proper all day black country breakfast on the canal the black pudding a bit of salt not too much just a bit oh yes Lovely jubbly. Oh, just what the doctor ordered. It's getting cold now. So we've wrapped up. We're just going to dig in now. Hmm. That's pretty nice actually. Mm. Mm -mm. There's that black pudding. <laughs> Something else. Mm -mm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Black pudding is nice. Another one. Oh, that was perfect portion size. Lovely job.
the one good thing about this island is that when the traffic comes up there the headlights aren't pointed to where we are but it does get quite busy at this section here Right then, guys, it's time for B E D, and I am T I R E D, and I'm a poet, and I don't even know it. So, it's time to go to bed, because I am cream crackered, shattered. So in the morning we'll make a drink, so stay tuned for coffee I am. But for now, good night, sleep tight. Oh, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh I'll see you in the morning. No she won't. Morning. Good morning, 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 morning. And what a beautiful morning it is. Too. Look at this. Like I always say, nothing compares to waking up in nature. Just does something for you. And uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that bad of a sleep last night, really. That rain that we were forecast didn't turn up, so that's good. All the stuff stayed dry. We stayed dry. And getting in this sleeping bag in this hammock last night was just so warm and dry, lovely. And uh, it. it did drop down, the temperature did drop down a little bit, but it was just bearable and it was a really good night's sleep. And I've woke up bursting for a wee. I don't know what time it is yet, but we'll get up, we'll carp ADM, we'll get moving, Ugh. and face the day. Hey, morning, 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 morning.
that worked really well. Very pleased. Oh. Let me explain about this dip. Where it, where it does slope away, our level is there, which is really did us a nice favour because it gave us an extra couple of feet there just to hold us away from the road. Now there's the road. That was our view from the road. Today's coffee is the Al Cafe from Aldi. Uh, frothy and creamy, I think these are vanilla lattes. And they need like 90p for six or whatever it is. So I haven't tried them yet, so we'll give them a whirl. We'll get them chucked in when the water's boiled. Look at this, does exactly what it says on the tin, look, nice and frothy. Oh, we'll let that cool down, and then it's all in the taste. Oh! Smell the vanilla in it. Oh, very frothy. Tell you what, it doesn't get much better than this. Well, it can, but not right now. It can't. <laughs> but uh, tastes nice. Tastes good. Oh, happy Hanukkah, Harry. Mmm. But one good thing. Now we get into that time of year. It's nice to wake up to sunshine and bird song as opposed to it being freezing cold so happy days things are looking up and that is be a beautiful a good way to kick start the engine boom, 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 Aldi vanilla latte pouches. Ah. Proper job. Hmm. Most important time of the day. Nice one.
part D. There's a bag, all packed away. There's our rubbish. We haven't left a single bit of rubbish out. It's actually quite nice in here, untouched really. Um, yeah, not a trace. Nobody will even know. So, the next best thing for us to do is get the bag on and make like a banana and split. Skedaddle. <whistles> Hit the road. So, uh, let's get out of here. Pronto. Right, we've got our rubbish. Put the sack on. This is the awkward part now. Because all the traffic's building up. We're just going to be a weirdo jumping out the bushes. So I'll wait for the traffic to move a bit. What? I think that is where we came in, I think. Oh, I don't know. Either way you look at it, we've got to get out of here. So, what are we going to get for this bit here? No. So we're basically we're trapped. Looks like we're gonna have to spend another night here, I think. You're right. Ah, we got it. Oh, traffic. Just have to wait here a sec. Where we were, in there. So, happy days. I've found a bin for our rubbish now. Um, but I do need to say a big massive thank you to all the views, comments, likes and subscribes. You know it means everything to me. So thanks for the continued support, for keep coming back and getting involved. Especially the regulars, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And there's plenty more where these come from. So thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching to the end. Don't forget to drop us a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you. So uh, for now, that's it. But I'll see you next time on Richie Outdoors. Bonzeroonie. See ya.